Hello I am Zulkernane and you are watching Know Everything. China's population dynamics are a significant topic of global interest and concern. A report by UN predicts that China's population could be reduced to half by the year 2100. This issue is often avoided in discussions, but it's crucial to address it, especially considering the impact it has on the economy and society. This detailed analysis will cover China's historical population policies, current trends, and future projections. In 1979, China introduced the one-child policy to control the rapidly growing population. The government was concerned that without this policy, the country would struggle to provide enough resources, such as food, jobs, and education for everyone. The key points of the one-child policy was birth limitation, most families were restricted to having only one child. Families that had more than one child faced significant fines and other penalties. While the one-child policy succeeded in slowing population growth, it also led to several unintended consequences. With fewer children being born, the number of elderly people began to rise. Due to a cultural preference for boys, many families opted for male children, resulting in a significant gender imbalance in 2015. China adjusted its policy to allow two children per family. The government hoped this change would lead to more births and help balance the population. However, the response was not as positive as expected due to high cost of living. The financial burden of raising children led many families to continue having only one child. Urban lifestyles and career aspirations also contributed to the low birth rate. In 2021, the Chinese government introduced a three-child policy, allowing families to have up to three children. This policy was another attempt to boost the birth rate and address the aging population. However, it remains uncertain whether this will significantly impact the population trends. China's population is currently about 1.4 billion people. According to projections, by 2050 this number will decrease to around 1.3 billion and by 2100 it could drop to 770 million. This significant decline raises several concerns, economic growth. With fewer people, especially fewer young people, the workforce will shrink, potentially slowing down economic growth. An aging population will place a greater strain on social services and healthcare systems, as there will be more elderly people needing care and fewer young people to provide it. One of the biggest challenges is the increasing number of elderly people. As people live longer and fewer children are born, the proportion of older people in the population grows. This result increases healthcare costs. More resources will be needed for healthcare and elderly care services. The pension system will be under more pressure as more people retire and fewer workers contribute to it. The dependency ratio measures the number of dependents, children and elderly per working age person. In 1980, the ratio was relatively low, with fewer dependents for each worker to support. However, projections indicate that by 2050, for every 100 working age people, there will be about 73 dependents. This means each worker will have to support more people, increasing the economic burden. Unlike China, India has a much younger population. The median age in India is around 27.9 years, meaning half of the population is younger than this age. This demographic advantage could boost India's economic growth if the country successfully harnesses its young workforce through providing quality education to prepare young people for the job market, ensuring there are enough job opportunities for the growing workforce. Japan faces a similar issue with an aging population but has managed it through investments in healthcare and technology. However, Japan's high dependency ratio poses a long-term economic challenge. 
Japan has developed an advanced healthcare system that supports its elderly population. The use of robotics and automation helps mitigate the impact of a shrinking workforce. China's efforts to control its population have been complex and challenging. The country now faces the consequences of its past policies, including an aging population and a shrinking workforce. The government is trying to find a balance between controlling population growth and ensuring there are enough young people to support the economy. For countries like India, there are lessons to be learned from China's experience. It is important to find a balance between population growth and economic development. Providing good education and job opportunities for young people will be crucial. Globally, demographic changes are a shared challenge. Countries can learn from each other and work together to address these issues. By understanding and planning for these changes, we can create a sustainable future for everyone. How do you think population growth and demographic changes will impact global economic and political power dynamics in the future? Let us know in the comment section. If you like the video, make sure subscribe and hit the like.